Hello, it's day 97 and I want to talk about insanity. Insanity sometimes gets defined as doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. And that is like the perfect encapsulation of what I've been doing lately. I wake up, I do the exact same thing I've always done, I eat the exact same foods in the exact same amounts, I make the exact same mistakes every day, and somehow I feel like... <sighs> I like, I think that that's going to get me to my diet goals, and that's just not true. But no, I don't want to talk about the mental state of insanity today. I want to talk about the fitness program insanity. You may be familiar with it. I don't know. So let me set the scene for you. It's 2010, 3 in the morning, and I am sitting on the couch, the heaviest I have ever been. I'm trying to relax before bed, and what comes on but an infomercial? An infomercial for a fitness program called Insanity, created by Beachbody and starring a fitness instructor called Sean T. At the time, I knew nothing about Beachbody. I had no idea that it was a multi-level marketing company. I had no idea about its predatory practices or its like shady dealings um, with like protein shake manufacturers. I had no idea about any of that stuff. And being desperate and young, I ordered the Insanity program. Beachbody is kind of weird as far as like pyramid schemes go because they have like two sides of their pyramid scheme. They have the protein shake side, the supplement side. That's typically where you get most of the like pyramid scheme hun action. That's where like people will try to sell you things and that's where you end up with like garages full of protein powder. You know what I mean? But then there's this other side where you have the fitness programs and typically that side tends to be a lot more cut and dry you pay money make the transaction and receive the good so there's really no like signing up I never signed up for anything I literally just paid money received fitness program insanity and I remember getting it in the mail I was pretty impressed it came with all the DVDs it came with the booklet full of recipes it came with like a chart and a calendar and it came with a promise that if you followed the program to a T, you would be fit by the end of it. I've actually finished the Insanity program three times, and I've finished P90X twice. Um, and as you can see, I am still a horrible amorphous blob. So, were the promises true? Obviously not. But there was one thing about Insanity that I feel like I really didn't take into account. Yes, they sent me the DVDs, and yes, they sent me the calendar of which exercises to do which day. And yes, I went hard on it, you guys. This was right after my grandpa died. I was feeling low AF. So I put my everything into those workouts. Sure, I could only do like two or three sets of it in a go, but man, I really tried as hard as I possibly could. And the infomercial made it seem like like, I remember very distinctly there was a part of the infomercial where, like, there was this guy, this skinny, nerdy-looking dude, like, half-assing the workout. And, like, one of the fitness instructors comes and, like, taps him on the shoulder and is like, Get out of here! Insanity's not for you! I remember, like, I was not that person. I went hard on insanity when I was doing it. The only thing I didn't go hard on was the diet, you guys. The diet came in a little white book, kind of a, a nice little book, like a little paperback book. And it lined out what you should be eating every day. It lined out your meals. If you're on insanity, you should be eating this amount. I didn't follow it. I did not follow the diet. And that right there was, it's all the evidence I need looking back as a, like, a smarter, more mature person. I'd like to think I'm smarter. Looking back as an older person to that time in my life when I was doing insanity, you cannot outrun your mouth. You cannot outrun the food you put into yourself. Like today, I, I took my mom to the gym. She's still trying to do that. And I walked on the treadmill and I burned about 300 calories which is one granola bar. I burned one granola bar worth of food today. If you cannot get your eating under control, you're not ever going to see any weight loss. You're not ever going to see any goal. You're not ever going to be light enough to do that pull-up. 
For me, the gym has always been the easy part. Following the program, marking off days on the insanity calendar, that was always the easy part. The hard part is getting the diet under control. I have said it so many times, and I feel like there is nothing I can do. If there were an infomercial out there right now being like, get out of here, nerd. Uh, this diet program is not for you if you're not going to try your hardest. I feel like I just need somebody to tell me what to do. I really liked Sean T as far as like fitness instructors went because he was the perfect mix of motivating and ass kicking and encouraging and mean, you know, just a little touch of mean in there. I don't regret the purchase of Insanity all those years ago, but I do regret, I do regret, what do I regret about it? I do regret something about it. I guess I just regret the way my brain works. I guess I just regret the kind of person I am, doing the same thing over and over, hoping for a different result. Well, I did delete Chronometer today. My subscription ran out, and I think I'm going to go back to my fitness pal and try it. I think I'm going to actually purchase a month of premium and see how that goes with my fitness pal. And we'll just see. I mean, my fitness pal is almost as old as Insanity is. That app's been around forever, so there must be something to it, right? <sighs> but yeah, I'll update you on how that goes. But that's me for today, so I'll see you tomorrow.